My name is Chris Parsley. I'm president of Falls Area Bicyclists. I'm also certified by the League of American Bicyclists as a cycling instructor. Uh, I want to send a thank you to the city of Sioux Falls for everything that they've done for cyclists in our community. Uh, the League of American Bicyclists was formed in 1880, uh, and it was a bunch of cyclists that got together. They wanted better roads to ride on. So the reason we have paved roads today can be uh, attributed to cyclists and their advocacy efforts. The Bike Friendly Community Program is revolutionizing the way communities evaluate their quality of life, sustainability, and transportation needs, while allowing them to benchmark their progress toward improving their bicycle friendliness. Since 2002, the program has accepted over 400 bicycle friendly communities in all 50 states. This award is not only the result of hard work put in by Falls Area Bicyclists, the city, and others, it's also a roadmap to follow as Sioux Falls continues to grow. This award includes a report with feedback from the league that we will use to continue making bicycling better for everyone in Sioux Falls. The program emphasizes that bicycling is a simple solution to many of the challenges that we face in our country. As Sioux Falls residents know well, bicycling is about mobility, sustainability, health, and so much more. Bicycle-friendly communities are great places to live, work, and visit. As the city of Sioux Falls and the rest of the team here will certainly tell you, applying for a bicycle-friendly community designation is no small endeavor. It takes a tremendous effort to gather all of the information required and to bring the right people to the table. The League was impressed with many aspects of Sioux Falls' efforts to build a world-class bicycle-friendly community. The great people pushing to make Sioux Falls a community that actively welcomes cycling of all kinds. On behalf of the League of American Bicyclists, I am pleased to present the City of Sioux Falls with a Bronze Bicycle Friendly Community Award. Congratulations. Well, thanks, Chris. Um, on behalf of the City of Sioux Falls and all the departments that work on this, I'd like to thank the League um, for this award. Uh, it's something we work hard as a city for, but I think it's, it's also something that um, is important to understand. It's something that it's a community award. So there's many different organizations and bicyclists and people that have been involved in, in putting this together and, and, and being recognized for this. Uh, other organizations such as our bicycle committee, uh, Falls Area Bicyclists, as uh, Chris had mentioned, uh, other organizations such as the, the Single Track Association, FAST, and the Right Across South Dakota organizations, the bike shops um, that are involved in the community and, and, and advocating, and all bicyclists of Sioux Falls, which we continue to find more and more um, support and uh, that more people believe that it's important for us to be working on this. There's more and more people that um, are bicycling. In fact, we found that in one of our surveys that we did, that that has increased uh, fourfold over the past 15 years, people that are bicycling in this community. So that really kind of plays to our bicycle plans vision. Uh, a lot of the boards you see around the room here um, from that bicycle um, plan. And that vision is to make Sioux Falls a place where people want to ride their bicycle in all areas of the city. We don't want to just look at the bicycle trail, which, by the way, is a great asset to the community. And we continue to look at that and, and ways to, to improve that, and the Parks Department has done great things there. Uh, Sioux Falls facility improvements over the, the last several years include, since 2010, the Sioux Falls has invested more than $5 million into trail improvements, and that's included things like the complete reconstruction of three stretches of trail six bike trail traffic counters, 16 informational kiosks, and six new trail spurs. Also, beyond the trail, the places where we're trying to improve all areas of the community, uh, we've completed 42 miles of on-street bicycle projects. Um, some of those things have included uh, an average of six miles of on-street bicycle projects each year. Um, some of those things are like a side path um, that's been recently co completed on the new Veterans Parkway. Uh, new shares on, shares on Bonson Ave Avenue and Tomar Road and other um, bicycle routes that we have in the community. Uh, the Maple Street cycle track, which is the first cycle track we've had here in Sioux Falls up, up on uh, the northwest part of town. 
Overall, our on-street projects since 2010 include 193 blocks of new wide side paths, 145 new bike lanes, uh, eight new pedestrian underpasses, and 160 blocks of sharrows. Um, one thing to mention that's coming up that we are hoping to have done already, and uh, I know Don is here, and we're trying to improve that trail, uh, a new trail from uh, the dam out to Dunham Park. That'll be done uh, next year. That'll open up um, a direct path for people to get to the main trail. Uh, we're, I know a lot of bicycles are looking forward to that, and that is still on for, uh, for next year. But beyond facilities, um, there's other things that we look at here, and that includes uh, complete streets uh, review process that we've started here. We want to improve that process. Um, that's done great things so far. Um, also, public-private partnerships, such as what we did this year with two Saris bike repair stations with uh, uh, organizations here that provided those st Stations, and we put one in, in uh, Pasley Park and another one at the new bus depot. Uh, we have a new online bike route map that is, is uh, available on your smartphone. And new safe, safety initiatives we look at all the time. How can we ensure that everybody looks out for each other? And that's something we're really working towards. Um, I'd also want to make sure, um, as before, there are some bicycle friendly businesses in the community that also are a part of this. Um, they're recognized separately, but they're part of our community. Those include Electric Pulp, First Lutheran Church, Spoken Sport, Blend Interactive, and Presenter Media. Um, you know, and back to some of the things that we're trying to do with uh, safety, we continue to try to find ways that we can encourage people to safely bicycle in the community and share the road. Um, and look out for each other. Uh, one of the videos that we did this year was uh, that bicyclists are people too, uh, just recognizing to the entire community that uh, bicyclists um, have jobs, they have families, and uh, they're an important part of the community. They're not just a bunch of crazy bicyclists out on the road.